Yes, and then I told them I'm very happy that we're not playing in Serbia. <laughs> you told them that. You told the refs that. Yes, I said I'm very happy we're not playing in Serbia. Because your brothers would kill them. Yes, yes, because my brothers would kill them. <laughs> I hate refs. Yes, I hate refs too. We should rebel against the refs. The Dallas Mavericks get absolutely cremated by the Denver Nuggets, 130 to 104. Guess what? I don't care. I'm here to talk about Luka Doncic because he does it yet again. Another 30-point game. Now, I know what you're thinking. Slightly, are you really doing another Luka Doncic video? This has been like the fifth Luka Doncic video of the month for you. Guess what? I don't care. It's Christmas time, and Luka's giving us a present. What is the present? 30-point games. 11 games in a row for Luka Doncic, 30 or more points. In this game, he had 38 points, 11 rebounds, and 8 assists. In a game where the Mavericks, yet again, very shorthanded, going up against one of the more impossible-to-beat teams in the league, a healthy Denver Nuggets team in Denver. Luka does pretty much all he can to keep the team within striking distance before the Nuggets just turn into the Nuggets and, and completely route the Mavericks from the mid-third quarter onward. 11 games in a row now with 30 points. That's only happened 27 times in NBA history. The longest stretch is Wilt Chamberlain with 65, 65 straight 30-point games. I mean, that's just fucking insane. Shout out to James Harden, too, because he had an insane stretch himself, the second most. Luka, Tiny Archibald, and Oscar Robinson are the only three players in NBA history to average double-digit assists during a scoring stretch like this. Over this stretch, Luke is averaging 35.8 points per game, nine rebounds per game, 10 and a half assists per game. Just an unbelievable stretch of basketball from Luka. And it's important to note, over these 11 games, the Mavericks have been without Kyrie Irving for six of them, basically seven, if you count the game where he got injured and pretty much missed the entire time. He's scoring like this despite the fact that he's getting double teamed and trapped and blitzed. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Over the last eight games, he's averaging 24 and a half points per game in the first half. In the first half of the game, 25 points per game, damn near. If that's just what he averaged over the course of a game, that would make him the 22nd highest scoring player in the NBA. First half, Luke would be the 22nd highest scorer in the NBA. More points than AD, Kawhi, Larry Markkinen, Brandon Ingram, Zion, Cat, DeMar DeRozan. That's insanity. His jump shot has been a little up and down lately, but he still has it in his bag. And if you don't double team him or trap him, He's going to make you pay in a serious way. Luka doesn't get his first field goal of the game until the 540 mark of the first quarter. He scores six points in the first quarter, so you're probably thinking, oh, slow half for Luka. Uh, no, he finishes the first half with 28 points. This was his first basket right here, backing down KCP. Again, help doesn't come. This is just too easy. KCP, I like you. You're just too small. A little secondary bump. Boom! He gets us. He being Luka, because he is him. Luka's probably the best in the league at this little slow step. Whenever he's driving, it's just so hard to stop. Gets the defender off balance. I mean, it doesn't look like much, but remember, these guys are used to like legit some of the greatest athletes in the world, right? Going at maximum speed, doing crazy shit. And Luke is like, I just smoked a, a bull before I came to this game. Slow step on the rookie. That's an easy buck. Simple little ghost screen here from Grant Williams gets the switch that Luca wants. Zeke Naji switched on. And if you don't send help, Luca 1v1 versus these poor, poor centers. Gonna end like this almost every time. Woo! He gets us. Great Williams screen gets Zeke Naji switched on again. Zeke Naji, can I have this done? Woo! And that shot's going down. Really, there's just nothing you can do besides pray to him. This shot's hilarious. Offensive rebound by Dwight Powell. Way to go to work, Dwight. Ball moving around. Up fake by Luca. The flyby reset dribble. I can promise you, Luca's probably never hit one of these threes. A reset dribble on a flyby for Luca. I promise you he's never hit one of these. That should be a foul, too. We get KCP tugging the shorts. And one. You're not going to send help on Luka Doncic. You're just going to allow him to get to his spots like that. Too strong for Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray, good defender. Luka's too strong. I mean, that's just... That's that's just too easy. You got to make life a little bit more difficult for a guy like that. Aaron Gordon, a great individual defender. Great team defender. One of the best defenders in the league, Luka. White boy, get that fucking arm off me. Easy. Again, you're not going to send help, man. It's going to be a scoring barrage. All right, the help's starting to come on Luka. Surely he's not going to be this this time. What? Crazy over the fucking head pass. Oh, Max, you better not sell that. Okay, you are a Dallas Maverick. You have to sell that. Look at Luka right here, active on the glass. Tip in. 38 points, his last basket of the game. I want to go back to this Trailblazers game from a few nights ago because it was a hilarious Luka Doncic experience. The Blazers spent the entire first half dropping on these screens, and Luka just... Made them pay every single time. Hey, you know that's one of the best players in the league, right? Let's rewind and, and pause. Look how much room Luke has to shoot this shot. Hey, that's one of the best players in the league, guys. I don't know if you're aware or not. Hey, guys, he's one of the best players in the league. If Luke has this much space near the free throw line with a defender on his back, it's already game over. Please, somebody help. Somebody do something. 
that's just way too easy. This dude is so tough, man. What? I mean, good God. That is... That is just... What did I say about Luka with this little slow step move? Look at that. What are you supposed to do with that? Hey, Portland, this is one of the best players in the NBA. Please. Please, this is too bad. This is too much space. He's going to kill you. Hello. Luka finished the first half of this Blazers game with 30 points. This is too easy. You're dropping on this pick and roll. Little give and go. Nice job. And now that gives Dwight. Luka's patient enough here. Knows that Aiton is dropping. Knows he has Jeremy Grant on his back. He's patient enough to let Dwight Powell come and screen his guy. So he gets an easy layup. 30 points in the first half. And this is just a hilarious moment in this game right here. First play. First play. We are 11 seconds into the second half of this game. Lucas scores 30 in the first. The Blazers are dropping on these pick and rolls. And he, they're just getting torched. What happens? First play. Aiton dropping. Lucas got a defender on his back. It's Anthony Simons. He's too little. Boom. Look at Chauncey Billups. Timeout. Timeout. 18 seconds into the half. But if you make adjustments like the Trailblazers make, where you're just going to double him and trap him at half court every time, He's going to make the right pass almost every single time, it feels like. And to the Mavericks' credit, they've done a really good job. The guys in the middle, whenever Luka gets trapped, guys like Derek Lively, who's now missing times for the Mavericks, guys like, dare I say, Dwight Powell, Markeith Morris even at times, has done a really good job catching the ball in the middle of the floor and making the right play, making the right read out of that, whether that's going up and attacking or shooting or passing to a guy wide open in the corner. The Mavericks have done a great job of that. It's a big reason why the Mavericks shoot more corner threes than anybody in the league. That's a very high percentage shot that we like. It's just so simple, yet so effective. Luke had six assists in the second half of this game against the Blazers. Stuff like this. Here comes the high screen from Tim Hardaway Jr. Blazers are going to blitz this. Tim Hardaway Jr., wide open mid-range jumper. You got to knock it down. He does. Here we go again. Markeith Morris going to slip this screen right here. Pocket pass, Markeith Morris, wide open mid-range jumper. You're going to have the numbers. If Luke is drawing attention like this at damn near half court, I mean, this is 30-plus feet away from the basket. You're playing a numbers game, four on three. You just got to make the right read, the right choice. And again, to, the, to these guys' credit, these guys in the middle have done a pretty good job for the Mavericks so far this season. Again, a tremendous... Markeith Morris played a great game against this Portland Trailblazers team. He had four assists in this game for Markeith Morris. And here's another reason why. Here comes the double up on Luka. Passes to the middle of the floor. Markeith Morris. Again, you got numbers. If they're going to double team Luka way the fuck. Literally at the logo this time. If they're going to double team Luka way up here, it's a numbers game. Markeith Morris. Aiton's committing to Markeith. It's going to leave Derek Jones Jr. wide open for a cut. I mean, we love that. That was the dagger too. Great sequence right here by the Mavericks. Great ball movement. Tim Hardaway Jr. slips this. Open in the middle of the floor. All right. We got a numbers advantage. Derek Jones Jr. and Marquise Morris essentially splitting one defender, DeAndre Ayton. Great read by Derek Jones Jr. Extra pass to the corner. Marquise! All right, Dwight Powell's going to have to play this correctly here. You got a numbers advantage again. Four on three, essentially. Derek Jones Jr. makes a nice extra pass. Dante Axum! Hey, you know how good that guy's been this season, right? He's him. Some people call him Sexum. Um, I got to say, it makes me a little uncomfortable, but I'm just telling you what some people are calling him. This is something Derek Lively has been very good at so far this season, but Dwight Powell was pretty good at it in this Nuggets game. I mean, the Mavericks got their asses kicked, but whatever. You're going to catch this ball here in the short roll. You got a smaller guy against you in this numbers advantage. You know, it might be tempting to pass this out to Tim Hardaway Jr. in the corner. But go up, man. You're a fucking center. Good job. It's just insane to have stats like these when you're double teamed more than any player in the league. You're blitzed on pick and rolls. More than twice as much as the second most blitz guy in Cade Cunningham. Yet despite all of that, you only have a 13.2 turnover rate, which is better than guys like Steph Curry, Trey Young, LeBron, LaMelo Ball, James Harden. We are truthfully witnessing one of the greatest offensive starts to a season we've ever seen. I mean, it's, it's absolutely otherworldly what Luka is doing on a night-to-night -night basis. And especially recently, with Kyrie out and so many guys out, he's having to do this just to give this team a chance. There's three letters I'm thinking of. And you know exactly what that is. A-R-P. Wait, that can't be right. Oh, M-V. 